This is why the rich keeps getting richer. This is why the successful people keep getting more success. Well, Korao Bidi, the popular Nigeria dancer, exotic dancer, recently came online to beg Nigerians, to beg our fans, to assist her pay for a lawyer. Because she wants to sue her husband. She said that her husband constantly dragged her down, constantly stopped her from showing off her kids on camera, making life unbearable for her. And for that, she doesn't want to use her own money that she has saved. She doesn't want to use her own pocket money, her own money that she has for lawyer. She wants you guys to pay for that for that uh, lawyer's fee <laughs> well trust me trust fans this is the go for me link guys i need a good lawyer and i need one asap if you know that you've ever loved me you know that this is what i do i make content from home i make content from home and i create content around motherhood motherhood and sharing my experiences around motherhood this is my experience this is what i'm going through right now and this is my goal for me i'm not even sh i'm shamelessly asking if you know you're a celebrity you have money that you're just throwing around i need help with a lawyer right now i need help with a lawyer right now because if i don't do something right now this is going to be my life for the next so many years 18 years until these kids are old. He has said it that he's not going to stop until the children are in foster care. I am entangled with a crazy person. I need help. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, a different view on this particular matter. She says she needs help. Celebrity lifestyle, they have money, but she needs help. She's asking for a hundred thousand US dollars to get a lawyer. This one at the same game made by herself a very huge property in the US and she posted about it. You know, it's crazy to see fans who are unable to pay rent. Who are unable to pay rent will be donating. So what is happening? I don't know about the other uh, harassment she's talking about, but all I know is that. This man come online to make accusation against her. Some accusation that might not be true. And she and this man was the main purpose. This uh, her husband stopped her from showing off her kids on social media. Like she can do a dance, whatever she wants to do, but she shouldn't bring her kids on social media. The man is also a useless man though. Because I'm going to come to the man. I do not think, eh, I do not really think that anybody should donate for Kurabidi. Kurabidi, if he needs this so badly, she should use that money to sue that man to court. Why seeking for poor fans? Why seeking money from poor fans? That's what else. That is just my simple thought. Why seeking money? If it's that important, if it's that important, you recently bought a home, you have uh, this, you are being paid to do exotic dance, then what are you doing them for? You are doing them to earn money. So you should be able to have enough money to sue your host, your host husband. Drag him to court. Drag him to court. Now let's listen to the ex husband. About something emotionally exhausting, such as the safety and welfare of your children. So, I will likely never, ever allow my kids to be back on social media again, because they're all toxic, and you guys aren't good for them. So, Nigerians, I'm talking to you, Mitzley. This whole women's, women supporting women movement, even when the woman's wrong, you guys are the problem with society nowadays. We need to support people that are right. I mean, how many lies are being said on social media on a daily basis that you guys are seeing and you continue to support lies? That's, that's a problem.
That's how you get corrupt government. That's how you get corruption in every in every in every level of society. Is you see things that are wrong and you support it anyways. Mmm. This is so good. I should be ashamed of myself. I will never be ashamed to shit myself for protecting my children. All of you guys that don't like me, all you guys think that I'm somehow whatever the hell you label me as, you can go to blazes. You guys, you guys are not educated. You don't have thoughts. You're not sentient humans that have critical thinking skills. I do not care what you think or say about me. So, that's it. You guys want to say whatever you want to say? I don't care. Mmm, so damn good. Uh, okay. That's a Coral British Essos band. Firstly, that guy had no correct. This is why I said this so. You knew Coral BD before, right? Before the kids. You knew her after a job. You meant her. Because Cora was performing, always performing at one particular night, uh, night uh, club. I don't want to call it, yeah, I, 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 I call, it, call, call it club. Was always performing the exotic dancer. That was how this guy came across Coral BD online. You knew her on this same lifestyle that you are currently criticizing. You knew who she was. You knew how she was close to the Adon Jazzy, those people you have accused her of having an affair with, so many other people. You knew what she was, but you still decided to marry and have kids with her and took her to the United States of America and also make there a second home. You knew her from the start. You knew, you knew what she was doing. Yet you decided to marry her. And now you are having troubles because she decided to leave you. You know, they are all they are all both stressing that uh, that uh, they are all both stressing their children. Cora wants her children to be free, to be able to show them on social media, dance and check waist on front of camera, expose them to the world. But the man doesn't want that. It's not say the man doesn't want that. The man wants Koras to pay because the man is hungry. And I, I, I brought you down to USA, made your life better, and you are having authoritative attitude towards me. Well, for me, I'm just concerned about the fans who are donating money. <laughs> that just me. Because Cora is rich and she'll still be richer. If she needs money so much, she has celebrity friends who she can reach out to. Not taxing the poor again. The poor has already been taxed already now. Let her tax her celebrity friends she keeps hanging out with and promoting music for. Abba. This is just an update on my GoFundMe. I am so elated. I am so, so elated. I want to say thank you guys. There's really absolutely no words that I have to explain how grateful I am for you guys right now. I checked and the monies are coming in. I have contracted a lawyer. I have had my consultation. We're working on it. My children and the person who abused Athena and June will be brought to book. My rights as a mother will be reinstated. Nobody will be deleting videos from my page anymore. And my children will be allowed to travel to Africa whenever they want, to travel to Nigeria whenever they want. These are my rights in the divorce decree. And this is what I'm fighting for. I'm so grateful to you guys. I'm so grateful to you guys. <sighs> I'm so grateful to you guys for everything. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, I'm seeing everything going on. Well, what she's fighting for is actually right, except for the one social media. Me, I will take my kids very far from social media. Like I will try as much as possible, the best way I can, to remove my kids very far from social media, honestly, until they are up to that age. Uh, but the rest of all those things she's asking for is good. 
But why tax the public? People are donating though. She has almost clocked the, the said money she wanted. She has about 45,000 as at when this post came out, out of her 100,000 uh, US dollars she requested for. And 991 donations so far. Well, good. But me, I don't see why the public should be paying for anything. Abba, the rich keep getting richer. Why the poor keep getting poorer? I bet you some of the people who donated don't even have nothing. Don't have nothing in their house. Well, okay. Women supporting women, though. That's good. So now let's talk about uh, this guy who recently jobbed uh, a UK lady. So, according to the story, the Nigerian lady in the UK was scammed of uh, 30k US dollars, according to her. So the Nigerian lady rose. She has been scammed of over 30k US, uh, 30k pounds by a certain Akin from from Alma Mata University of uh, Success, who made her bring him to UK paid his uh, master's uh, degree fee 100 percent plus accommodation and weekly allowances she said the breakfast is too heavy for her to consume and want us to help her find her king according to rose anything her king did was premeditated as he had a wife and a child and, uh, and children which unknown to her at the time he added that to he added them to his visa application as dependent, she, which she funded. Immediately after his exam last week, Akin ghosted and blocked Rose to connect with his family in some other location in in UK. If anyone knows Akin, please call this. Hi, fans over there. This is Anki and Doris. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm a year older and, uh, you know, it's been a long journey and uh, the first one in the UK. No, it's memorable. Thank yeah. you all. Yeah. Wish him a happy birthday and uh, thank you everyone that is happy with us. God bless you. Ciao. He left already. Everybody told me not to pay the money, that they should be stranded. I wanted to listen to them, but I still decided to say, okay, I will pay it. I don't want to be a loser because if I don't pay, I will never, I did, that means I didn't accord. Well, the story is so long, that's why I didn't want to play it. But if I may say something, uh, it is unmature to deceive anyone. You understand? Come clean. Don't be a weak man. If you have a family, come clean to the woman and say, I have a family, but I like you. Hmm? There are some women who will want to be with a man who has family. Yeah, there are women like that. There are women who don't want to have that stress. So you move on to the next one. Do not deceive anybody. In fact, when you are truthful, maybe, maybe, maybe the woman might decide, oh, this man is a very honest man. I will still want to continue a relationship with this man. There are people like that. There is someone always for somebody. Eh? Don't deceive women, pain. For your whole like wasted thirty thousand pounds, more than the close to forty million naira on you, and just to ghost her. Come on, man. I believe there are way more better way to approach. Don't deceive anybody. Everyone is entitled to say yes or no. Do not deceive somebody to say no, or do not deceive somebody to say yes. Say the truth and allow them to make their decision. Aki, I don't support you. You will return that woman money back. People will say, oh, she's blinded by love. I agree, she's blinded, uh, blinded by love, but you will return her money back. 